New Discovery on Easter Island Unearths an Old Misconception Islands are one of the natural places that makes our universe more beautiful, alike the Easter Island that is located 2300 miles away off the Chile coast. It is not very populated, yet it is a very interesting place. We will see more unbelievable amazing things about it. Heads up! If you didn't already know, Easter Island is home to nearly 1,000 statues that flaunt unique craftsmanship, unlike anything else in the world. All of the sculptures here are monolithic, meaning they were carved out of a single giant piece of stone. These stone heads, which are really the face of Easter Island, were long thought to be just that, heads. But digging down a little deeper recently revealed that these old hard heads are much more than just pretty faces. Easter Island or Rapa Nui as it is named by the first seafaring Polynesian settlers who came across the island and made it their motherland and histories say that these first settlers came from a sub-region of Oceana. After settling, they decided to have an island chief and it was Hotu Matura. Though humble in numbers at first, Rapa Nui's population quickly escalated to thousands, as we can see by their indelible and prolific cultural facade. The Rapa Nui were obviously getting busy and not just carving rock, but hey, more people, more giant stone faces. The iconic sculpted heads known as Moai are scattered across the island. These moai are relics honoring Rapa Nui ancestors in what is presumed to have been a very spiritual society. Drawings and glyphs were made to honor nature, animals, and the spirits of those who have passed on. Researchers found that the island setters made all of these sculptures to let the world know about them for the next coming ages. Yet they couldn't really know who were they, and why did they completely disappear, and why isn't their island known? Were they a minority that didn't last long? Evidence led us to believe that the ancient residents depleted natural resources through deforestation and an overwhelming population growth to the point that incited desperation and civil violence. There was even some serious talk of alien intervention. With thousands of residents and massive heads, only a handful of loose theories attempted to explain what happened to the Rapi Nui people existed. What actually became of these ancient denizens remained uncertain until one group of archaeologists decided to get to the bottom of it once and for all. The Easter Island State Project or EISP was founded in 1982 by archaeologist Joanne Van Tilburg, who then received help from co-coordinator Christian Arvelo Parcrati in 2000. These two now represent the longest continual international scientific collaboration in Rapa Nui history. The project is all about saving the island's statues. However, the whole process of studying the ground before digging in or breaking it took them a long time. Actually, they started in 2017, but they were going on the right path though. Tilburg and her team were granted permission to excavate around the Moai revealing giant bodies to match those big old heads, some standing as tall as 70 feet. After all these years imagining discovering that the heads we all know and love were really just the tip of the iceberg. The stone bodies that the archaeologists revealed hosted detailed carvings that give insight into the lives of the early Rapi Nui. The carvings that historians have identified represent astrology, religious symbols, and names of artists and ancestors. The team have also found lots of tools in addition to the whole statues, about 1,600 that have been used for sculpting the full statues. They figured out that the tools were made of basalt and also volcanic rocks. The analysts done on 17 of these recovered tools known colloquially as Toki, revealed that all of these stones used to fashion these instruments were epidemic to the same quarry on the island, one quarry with a monopoly on basalt. This particular quarry, which is one of three on Rapi Nui, clearly held the optimal basalt for the Toki. 
The ubiquity of this material in all of the tools dug up and tested by the EISP team discovered some rock-hard evidence to historians. Apparently, people back then were living a peaceful life together, because if they were not, they would have not had the tools from the same sources, and maybe the statues would have not been made if they didn't help one another. This further supports why they were so successful as people and were able to create structures that still wow people today. This new idea contrasts with previously held beliefs about the early inhabitants' dark past, but it still leaves us wondering what happened to the Easter Island. It is now speculated that the arrival of early colonists and the convention of slavery obliterated the population. It's difficult to know exactly what happened due to the island's isolation, but archaeologists like Tilburg continue to study the clues left behind, slowly piecing together this ancient puzzle. Even though the population of the island have almost disappeared, but minorities still live there taking care of all their own lifestyle and traditions, and this minority official named to their island. On March 22, 1996, Rapi Nui National Park was added to UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites. The national park, which encompasses the majority of the island, secured its status due to its worldwide notoriety and, of course, the iconic and mystical Moai. The work and dedication of the people like Van Tilburg are resurrecting the secrets of a lost world. But as history always serves as a great teacher, the realization of the Rapi Nui civilization is a reminder of what can be achieved when we unite and work together. The progress is remarkable in the area, and EISP are still doing their best for preserving the island's old culture. They didn't stop digging and breaking the ground to have the full statues of the first settlers. It's evident that Easter Island will be more known, especially after all the statues that the EISP team have found. Because such discoveries are what can make any place universally known, like all tourist places in the world, like Rome and the pyramids of Egypt, finally Easter Island took back its value.